everybody, Kerry Benson here from Essential Nails again. Here's another design I've done recently using the Treasures of the Sea jewels, which are now available on the website. So, again, I'm using the nail trainer and I will be using Gelay's gel polish, some of the original older colours in the collection. I'm just prepping the nail here on the trainer hand with this very, very soft buffer. I'm going to base coat and colour coat like I would normally if I was on natural nails. Uh, if I was using these over enhancements, I personally wouldn't bother with the base coat. So this design was on the internet. One of my clients bought it in and just said she absolutely loved it. So we did our best to recreate it um, using the colours from this collection. I'm going to use Fairy Lights, which is a gold glittery Gelé's gel polish. It's going to be recreating the effect of sand on the beach, but it's sparkly sand. So um, it doesn't always give full coverage, so I'm going to do two coats of this. So I've done the first coat and cured it. I'm applying a second coat and curing that. And then the next colour I'm going to use is the Agate, which is the Precious Stones collection of gel polish or a gate I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it but um, it's um, a very very dark blue which has a shimmer in it but also a little bit transparent so you can just use the one coat of blue if you want I'm gonna do two just for thickness of product on the nail so the first bit it's rough it doesn't have to be neat I've just put a little bit of polish on and cured it the second layer which I'm going to apply now I go over the first a little bit higher up the nail this is supposed to recreate the effect of water or waves crashing up onto the beach so the thinner the water you should be able to see through it obviously the deeper the water the darker it will be so near the free edge there's um, a thicker amount of blue polish I'm leaving this wet. I have not cured this yet and I'm using a little bit of the Woo Woo White and this is a slightly creamier white and with my detailer brush I'm painting into the wet polish so that the colours blend slightly. This is obviously supposed to be the white foamy areas of the water as they break up the beach onto the sand and you'll find out by doing by doing it like this you can create some really quite nice effects and creating the little waves is really random there's no pattern to it obviously it's um, very unique the sea that you just create in movement in, in the edge of it there you can see it starting to take shape You want some thicker areas than others as, as it trails off. And then I'm just going to cure that in the lamp as well. You'll find that you do get um, blue and white mixed together on your brush. So I've given my brush a little bit of a wipe off there, cleaned it up. And I'm just going to touch up again some of the little white areas with some fresh woo woo white gel polish um, as a highlighter and it adds a little bit more movement and depth to the picture now the original photo obviously all the nails were different some of them were solid gold some of them were solid blue, like the ocean, with this design work done into them when they were wet. 
This was the one where the two colours crossed over on this nail. So I thought I would demonstrate this nail just to show you how we've laid the water over the sand. When you're happy with the highlighting that you've done, you will cure this layer again. And then after that, I top coat the whole lot with the top coat. This seals in the colour and seals in the design. Top coating, free edge, and then cure for a minute. So here's the little wheel with all these funky little jewels in, um, Treasures of the Sea. Because of the size of the nail, I'm only going to use small shells and starfish. I have a few half pearls and a few crystals, which I'm going to add in just to show you again how I adhere them on with a bit of the brush on glue. Touch your jewels into place on the nail surface. Obviously with the whole design over all 10 nails, sometimes less is more. Um, you can you can load up as much bling onto your design as you like. It's all about a matter of taste. So here we go, I've got a crystal or two that I'm going to add on. And some flat back half pearls. Well, they're not real pearls. You can buy them very cheap. They're made out of plastic. So just gluing those into place as well. So when your glue is dried, I'm using my little bit of tinfoil again and I've applied some no wipe top coat. In fact actually it doesn't really matter, you can use normal top coat. We'll wipe it off after anyway and I just make sure that I don't coat the jewels completely in the top coat. Um, you take the shine off a lot of the crystals by doing this but I make sure that I paint all the way around the edge um, to make sure I seal on at the base. Then I, the final cure, I cure for a minute in this lamp and then um, wipe off the nail and apply cuticle oil, finish your service like you would normally and there you are left with a beach and jeweled design. I think they're really effective actually, you can use a lot of the colours in the Gelee's range to great effect. There's the water washing up on the beach. I hope you've liked it. Thanks for joining me and come back again soon. Bye.